Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. After we explained the concept of construction engineering, today I will be elucidating building services engineering BSE. Yeah, as the name implies, building services engineering is a kind of engineering that deals with building services. So as I said earlier in our last class, I said building services engineering is divided into two divisions. We have the mechanical engineering and the electrical engineering. That is why generally building services engineering is also known as M and E engineering. But in some parts of the world, it's also being called MEP engineering or MEPF engineering. Basically, there are four major services performed by building services engineer. One, project designing and drafting. Basically, this is actually where freelancing and outsourcing comes in. As an MEP engineer, you have the opportunity to become a freelancer. So, before a project is to be commissioned, we have some pre-project stages, which is the concept of designing. That's why we have architects. So you can receive, receive the project from an architect and you design the building services for the same project. Two, consultancy. As a building services engineer, you can become a consultant. And as we all know, that consultancy is among the most lucrative job in every client. Although it requires plethora skills. Three, supervision you can become a supervisor of a project. Either you are employed or outsourced by a firm to supervise the project, and a building services engineer can be called upon to supervise a project. And the last of them were all commissioning and maintenance. Test, commissioning and maintenance. So this actually comprises of three things. You can become a testing engineer. As a testing engineer, before a project is to be commissioned, you can be called upon to test the project. So you test the services employed in the project. You can also become a commissioning engineer where your attention is being called upon to come and commission a project. And the last of the section is maintenance. Some cases, an ancient project may have to be maintained, or a commissioned project needs some sequential maintenance. So, as a building services engineer, either electrical or mechanical, your attention can be called upon. Now, before I proceed, as a building services engineer, I would like you all to open your mindset that specialization is not that important. Thus, you being an electrical or mechanical is expected from you to know the concept of the two engineering specialization. Also, the three stages generally known as the project stages, whereby the concept of drafting and designing comes in are the architectural design stage, whereby the project is to be designed by the architect. After the project has been designed by the architect, the project is being transferred for engineering design. And we have two forms of engineering design. So either the structural or the building services engineer. Thus, the building services engineer will work up with the mechanical and electrical, which I said earlier that it takes about the 60 percent of the total construction project awesome after the project has been designed and drafted by the two construction engineers the project then proceeds to the quantity surveyor whereby the project estimation and cost are to be estimated and evaluated i would like to explain the function of the two engineering specialization in building services one starting from the electrical engineer electrical engineers as a building services engineer has major 
or has 13 major functions to work on. One, the lighting systems. Electrical engineers, in case of designing or, or consultancy or supervision or test and commission, will have to look up to the lighting system of the project. Two, accessory systems. We have two forms of accessory systems. We have the high power system and the low power system. The high power systems or high power accessories is majorly known to be our sockets and outlets, where the low power systems are majorly considered to all the low power services, such as the CCTV, telecommunication, known as intercom, sound and audio system. Three, cable system. The necessary requirements and concentration for cable sizing will have to be looked up to. And the number four, protection devices. Protection devices, where we have fuse, MCCB, MCB, majorly to prevent overloading, will have to be looked up to. Five, load estimation and calculation. As an electrical building services engineer, you have to know how to calculate the total connected load for the building. 6. Voltage drop and short circuit. As a building services engineer, the voltage drop in the cable must be balanced to standard. And we still have the feeding system, whereby the distribution concept will be expanded. We still have the emergency system, majorly industrial or commercial apartments. Emergency services are required. Thus, as an electrical building services engineer, provisions will have to be provided. 9. Fire protection system. The concepts of smoke detectors, fire alarm systems, fire control panel will have to be discussed. 10. Power factor correction. This is basically a broad concept. We have different types of power. The 11th on the list is the heating system, also known as branding system, majorly to prevent fire hazard or shock hazard. The 12th on the list is the automation system, also known as BMS or the newly invented systems, majorly the open protocols. We are back to design and integrate the system. This is basically the concept of smart house or smart homes. The last of them all, making the 13th on the list, is the shop drawing and other services. As an electrical engineer, shop drawing must be provided for other external or newly invented services, where we have the escalator, elevators, etc. These are the 13 basic things required from an electrical building services engineer. What of the mechanical building services engineer? We have basic six functions or areas of studies for a mechanical building services engineer. One, water supply system. Two, drainage system. Three, medical gases systems. We have different kinds of medical gases. We we'll have to be designed supervised, tested, and commissioned. The fourth on the list is the natural or low pressure gases systems. Five, the fire suppression systems, where we discuss the sprinkler, high for water systems, and the gaseous systems. The last and the biggest of them all is the HVAC system, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. This will be our major area of concerns in this our tutorial series before starting with the designing and drafting processes. Thank you guys. Please subscribe as we promise to provide more awesome videos. Bye.